Respite is very essential for a parent, and that is necessary for a parent's well-being so that they can have some time away. I think parents also, it's, it's a little difficult to be away from them when you worry all the time and you, you know, but they also need to have, the parents need to have that time alone just to go out and, and enjoy what's out in the community, enjoy being with their other family members or, you know, having dinner with someone. Um, it's, it's just a sense of well-being and I think that um, it helps us that when we get back to our caregiving, um, that at least, you know, it, it strengthens us emotionally, uh, keeps us a little bit more on the healthy side. Um, I can't stress enough how much respite is necessary. Welcome to the Frank D. Lannerman Regional Center's video series. My name is Bill Crossan. I'm the Regional Manager of the School Age Unit at Lannerman Regional Center. In this video, we will provide information about supports available in-home to care for your loved one or family member. The most common in-home support is In-Home Supportive Services, IHSS, which is a generic resource, and Respite, funded by the Regional Center. Respite is temporary relief. We understand how challenging life can be when you are caring for an individual with special needs. At Lannerman Regional Center, we stress the importance of caregivers taking care of themselves. For those families whose loved one is eligible to receive Medi-Cal, there is In-Home Supportive Services, IHSS. IHSS provides individuals who are blind, disabled, or 65 years or older with personal assistance and in-home services so they can stay safely in their home. Services range from assistance with household chores to personal care and paramedical services. Lannerman Regional Center offers respite support which can be considered as a means to provide additional in-home support. Regional Center may consider providing respite if it is determined that an individual has explored all generic resources and meets any of the following guidelines. The client has serious documented challenging behavior. The person has significant medical needs. The family is experiencing severe stress. The family experiences an emergency. Or the client has significant self-help deficits that require additional assistance. I realized that I needed a respite when Natalia was three years old. I am a full-time mom. I work full-time and I needed time to take care of myself so that then I can come and take care of Natalia and everything that needed to be done. Respite for me is going to the nail salon, getting my nails done, um, going shopping, um, having dinner with my husband, having some alone time, just him and I. That's what we usually use our respite hours for. I chose my mother-in-law to be our respite worker because she's been helping us with Natalia since the day she was born. Being in the NICU with us all the time, taking care of her while I went back to work. So she knows Natalia just like I know her. So we felt very comfortable with her and she loved taking care of her. I had another respite uh, care person that um, also worked in the field of it, special education, but was um, not uh, a family member. And Dion took to her so well, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. that she would just, he would learn a lot of things from her, you know, because she just treated him like a typical person, just a buddy. You remember Chirsty? Do you remember Chirsty? Yes. Yes. Yes, Chirsty. So those, you know, those are the, the things that are really important for um, a family to thrive, a caregiver to thrive. And when we're feeling good, you know, and we're feeling emotionally healthy, we're able to give to them. For those with complex medical needs, 
Respite may be provided by a licensed vocational nurse available for those in need. There are two types of respite, conversion and agency. Conversion respite is used when the family has identified a person they trust and that person becomes employed by a respite agency. Agency respite is used when a trained professional is provided by an agency for that specific service. I first discovered respite uh, with the regional center when Freddie was uh, diagnosed. It was offered through the coordinator, service coordinator, as a way for me to have some time off because it, she told me that it was going to be overwhelming for me to have a, some time for me. So um, the services really helped me because it gave me time to go out, at least have uh, dinner or movies, and I knew that Freddie was going to be taken care of. At one time it was a family member, but then the schedule got kind of hectic, so then I requested the agency to provide me someone else. and. Um, it worked out, you know, like everything else, you just have to uh, try a, a new way of making sure that your child is well taken care of. And uh, I, I use both. I use a, a family member and then at one point I used the, the agency. Respite services are available to support families who care for their loved ones at home. Talk with your service coordinator about your current circumstances or take a look at Lannerman's website at lanterman.org.